our regular group of wonderful performers, Harvey Corman, Lyle Wagoner, and Vicki Lawrence, we have a very special show for you. Our guest stars are Roddy McDowell and the Jackson Fox. <laughs> natural as yours. <laughs> you don't like to be a redhead? Yes, you do. Yeah. Oh, you do? Well, I'm glad you do. Oh, look, beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I was wondering if you went streaking yet. <laughs> if I have gone streaking yet? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I think there's enough violence on television. <laughs> What's your favorite character to do? My favorite character to do? I'm going to do one tonight that I just love. It's a whole brand new one that, uh, that we're doing. It's one of my favorite sketches that we've ever done. She's actually, I'm doing my grandmother in it, if you really want to know. <laughs> my favorite actor, I have a few. I have a few. James Stewart is certainly tops on the list. And, um, well, I'll leave it at that because I've said it before about him. Yeah. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is yellow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, it does. What you got on, too. Yes. Um, are you going to do I Do I Do again? Yes, I am. I am going to do I Do I Do again. Uh, Rock Hudson and I, I'm no fool. We're <laughs> thinking, uh, uh, the play we're going to be in Dallas and St. Louis and Kennedy Center in Washington this summer. Uh huh. Thank you for asking. That's a good plug. And you're not a plant, so I think. Don't go away. We'll be right back. The Television City in Hollywood. It isn't often that we have a real honest to goodness movie star on our show, so we're really excited about tonight's uh, one of tonight's guests. He starred in pictures when he was. Uh, well, he started when he was about yay high, and he was in such movies as uh, How Green Was My Valley, My Friend Flicka, Lassie Come Home, Planet of the Apes, Cleopatra. Well, it, the list goes on forever, so instead of talking about him, I'd love to bring him out here. One of Hollywood's nicest gentlemen and one of Hollywood's most familiar faces, Roddy McDowell. <laughs> have you been? Well, I've been just fine. You're, you're looking wonderful, Carol. Oh, thank you. I... <laughs> well, so are you, Roddy. Well, I should. I just spent the weekend in Palm Springs. I was working on my tan. <laughs> I think you succeeded. <laughs> uh, Roddy, you've done so many wonderful films. I was just curious, and I'm sure the audience is too. Uh, is there any one particular film that has influenced your life in any way? There most certainly is, Carol. There is one movie I made that had a profound influence on my life. And if you don't mind, right now, I'd like to do a scene from that movie. Oh, <laughs> thank goodness. That's, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> okay, okay. Go right ahead, Roddy okay. McDowell. <laughs> oh, great and beautiful Cleopatra, the Roman legions are advancing. <laughs> they will soon overthrow thy throne. There is only one escape. Quickly! Hide behind the pyramids! Roddy, uh, am I, that's a scene from Cleopatra. Well, yes, Carol. That is my favorite film. And that's the one that's had the greatest influence on you? Well, yes, Carol. That's... Carol, look, <clears throat> why are you staring at me like this? I mean, it, you know, it really is terribly embarrassing. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it is rude of me. I was... <laughs> Roddy, um... Would you like to see yourself right now on television? Oh, yeah. I'd like that a lot. I, th yeah. I think it would do you a great deal of good. Okay. Why don't you over here with the monitor? Just uh, look at yourself there. Carol! Roddy! Ch Carol, why didn't you tell me? Well, I... Look, I've got a smudge on my chin. <laughs> I'm on your show with a smudge on my chin. That's terrible. <laughs> That's better. Now, what about our duet? <laughs> you, uh, you, you want to do a duet? You still do? Well, sure. What's you? Okay, you're a guest. <laughs> now I know why Mother taught me to be true. She met me with someone 
exactly like you. <laughs> I'm not much to look at, nothing to see, just glad I'm living and lucky to be. But I got a woman living for me. She's funny that way. And when I told them, and when I told them, how wonderful you are, how wonderful you are, they didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. Your lips, your eyes, your ears, your hair are in a class beyond compare. You're, You're the, the loveliest, loveliest thing that one could see. We will raise a family, a boy for you, a girl for me. Can't you see how happy we would be? Hey. Ooh, speak low. Huh? When you speak low. <laughs> they went away too soon, too soon. I wait, darling, I wait. Will you speak low? gentleman and sport Roddy is uh, it takes you how long to get into this makeup uh, about three and a half hours three and a half hours he has been in makeup for just these few minutes out here together he will be back in the flesh a little bit later on in the show but I thought it would be interesting uh, Roddy was kind enough to bring a, a little short uh, film of uh, showing you how what happens when he gets into this makeup and if the folks uh, here will watch the monitors and of course you folks at home watch your television sets if they're on and, uh, uh, I have a very brave friend called Paul Anderson who got up at 3 o'clock in the morning to take these. That's Joe LaBella, starting with the first. This is the first that part of the like makeup. like a clown right there. Yeah, the makeup <laughs> three basic sections. You see that? The, uh, then you put all that junk all over you. And the ears are separate. And then there's a chin piece that will go on. You'll see him right uh -huh. there. And, and then, then after that, there's the wig and toupee. And then all the individual hair pieces that are put on. And they black out your own teeth on the bottom. The, yes, that's rather disgusting, yeah. Uh -huh. that's, that's, uh, and then one minute is uh, three hours work, you see. Uh -huh. And then the hand to pay, which I'm not wearing tonight. Yeah. And uh, oh, there, that's there it goes. There's black the teeth. That's right. Well, you couldn't eat when you did that, could you? No, not really, because uh, it, it just gets very messy and breaks the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That is really cool. well, you should, uh, right now, you should go and get all that off so you can be back with yeah, us. Yeah, but you've been such fun. I think you deserve at least one ear. <laughs> <laughs> One of the joys of succeeding in life is making your family proud of you. The worldly honors and recognition are wonderful, but the best part of all is returning home after many years to share your achievements with your loved ones at a long-awaited family reunion. <laughs> She's been in there pripping ever since. Oh, what am I doing? You come on in here, honey. And you 
Don't you sit like that and you be late. Hey. Hey. I want to know every single thing you've been up to. Oh, I hardly know where oh, to begin. Oh, and what is this about you flying right back to the oh, airport? I'm sorry. I mean, I got to. well, it's I'm just not to. fair. I mean, it's just not fair to any of us. There's so much we have to catch up on. Oh, Ed. Hi. Yeah, I feel like, hey, oh, I'm sorry. Good see you, man. Good to see you, boy. Ed came over right to work today just as soon as I called him. Yeah, pretty much the old boss down there, and I... Yeah, he finally did get that promotion. He's manager now at Acme Hardware. That was last year when they moved to the new shopping mall. Oh, Phil, Phil, I know you've been all over the world, honey, but you have got to see our new shopping mall. It is fabulous. Yeah? Yes. Oh, well, I'm pretty much my own boss down there. <laughs> Come and go as a please. Of course, I've got an awful good assistant manager, Mickey Hart. Uh-huh. Doesn't know much about Barney. In Spain. But when it comes to your nuts and your boots and, and your drills. And Phil didn't come all this way to hear you jabber on about Mickey Hart. Well, my work is interesting. Well, Mickey if you Hart... ask me, he is a lame brain, and I sure wouldn't leave a store of mine in his charge. Now, come on, you Nick. Mickey Hart's a good old boy. Mama! <laughs> Mama! Phil is telling us all about his world travels, and he's just going to have to repeat the whole thing if and when you get out here. Oh, and for heaven's sakes, honey, be sure and say something nice to Mama when she comes out and be sure and compliment her hair. She has done nothing but fuss with it all I will, afternoon. I will, I will. <laughs> <laughs> How is the career going? Well, I know it's going pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last year, I won the Nobel Prize, and then this year, I won the Pulitzer Prize for my new book on India. <laughs> <laughs> I read a book clean through. <laughs> you remember when I was a kid, I used to just whiz right through them Nancy Drew mysteries? <laughs> and now, what with our brood? <laughs> I'm lucky if I got time to read the TV Guide. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. I wish you'd put that TV Guide back on the television when you're through with it. It took me half hour to find it last night. It was right there under your big fat nose the whole time. Well, I couldn't night. see it under I my big fat look at it. <laughs> it's the biggest beef in life is not knowing where the TV Guide is. Oh, that's my biggest beef. I've got my... Mama! Oh, but I want to hear about you. Well, you know that book. That book oh, honey, I wrote you know it. I'm a little worried about you, though. Yeah. You look haggard. I do. Mm -hmm. you know, not too long ago, I saw a, a picture of you on the cover of some magazine. Oh, yeah, that was your Time Time magazine. Mickey Hart subscribes to that. He oh, brings it into the shop. Brother, here we go again. Another chapter on Mickey Hart. <laughs> Can you Mickey forget Hart. him? Why could you, Ed, could you do that one little thing for my sanity? <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't Time magazine anyway. I mean, what in the hell would I be doing reading Time? <laughs> anyway, your picture was on the cover of this magazine, and, and it, I just happened to catch my eye when I was over there at the mall. It and was oh, on that Newsweek, mall too, something you know. else. What? It was on Newsweek, too. Newsweek, well, maybe it was Newsweek, but I don't know, I didn't like it because you, your eyes were all puffy and your face was all thin and drawn. And... <laughs> well, you know, that wasn't a picture, that was a drawing, it was a caricature. Well, whatever it was, you looked awful. <laughs> I mean, I was embarrassed to tell anybody you was my brother. <laughs> Your hair. Oh, you couldn't possibly. It's filthy. <laughs> you just told you to say that, now, didn't oh, you? No, 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 she didn't. No, no, she didn't. I, I, Come I, rain I, or shine, I get my hair done every Friday at 3 o'clock. But last Friday, no. That sister of yours there has to pawn off those two little holy terrors of hers on me. All you had to do was say no, Mama. Well, you said you'd be back here at 2.30. You know what time she got back here? You know, I couldn't I help it if Dr. Hanson kept me waiting for an hour and a half. 3.15. I had to go to church Sunday with my hair filthy. It's a wonder they let me in the door. <laughs> That's a tradition that goes back to centuries. Listen, listen, Mama, I 
found Topaz. He's in your bedroom. You have got to come in here and see this dog. He is the cutest thing you have. Keep quiet. What's that little dickens doing? Step on those hind legs in the middle of my pillows, looking out the back window. What is he looking at? Look at him. I can't believe that dog. much about them. You see, I I've been in India riding a Pulitzer Prize. So... <laughs> so You're going to stick with this writing game. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I think I might just as well give it a whirl a little while longer. <laughs> Come on, now. I mean, it really isn't steady now, though, is it? Yeah. You know what? I bet you if you wanted to, you could wangle yourself a column or something right here on the Raytown Morning Star. Yeah, there's a job for yeah. you. Yeah. Job then you wouldn't have to keep gallivanting all over the world and burying yourself in places like India. Oh, all the gods for saying India. Like... India's fascinating, Uni. I mean, you meet the most interesting characters. Characters? You want to meet characters, honey? All you got to do is walk down the main street of Raytown any time of the day or night. Yeah, got them. Isn't that right, Oh, Andy? do it. Phil, do you know? We got a bald woman right here on this block. <laughs> Gospel truth, that woman is bald. She ain't got a hair on her head. <laughs> Boy, howdy, I'd like to write about her. <laughs> right the way out of a paper bag. Phil's the only one in the family with any talent. <laughs> well, I had other talents, Mama. I took piano and voice, didn't I? Whenever we had company over, you always asked me to sing and play, didn't you? I did not. You did so, and don't you walk out on me like that. You did too, and you know it. I did too. I used to, I used to do turkey in the straw. And then for an encore, I do the Isle of Capri. Phyllis, that's not my idea. That year is for crying out loud, it's been all over the world. Oh, and I'm just a stick in the mud. Is that what you're saying, Mama? I'm a no-talent nobody. That's what it is, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sure. Phil always got all the A's in high school, and I always got all the C's. That's what you're saying. Well, go ahead, Mama. Rub it in like you always do. You just wait till you see what that little dick told you. What are you doing, Mama? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> There's something out there he wants today, and he's trying to get it. I'm telling you. Don't believe that, dog. Look at him. 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 He really gets eyes wide. He's the cutest. He's the well, Mom, I think I better be getting along. It's quite a way to the airport. I don't want to miss that plane. Well, if I understand you do what you got to do because you're a busy working man, it sure was nice seeing you again. It sure was, honey. And don't make it so long between visits. Okay, good seeing you, Phil. Uh, you yeah. come on, I'll back here. You'll be up. Come on back. <laughs> I think he's looking at a bird. Hey, Mom, uh, would you like me to send you a copy of my new book? Oh, you don't have to do that, Phil. Besides, I got so many books now, I don't know where to put them. <laughs> Well, um, so long. Shh. Run along now, son. Win another prize. Hey, Phil, make sure you close that screen door after you. Yeah, honey, the fly's gonna get on the lemonade. No. Oh, Phil, be sure and get rid of them puffy eyes. I'll try. You just look at that dog. Look at that dog. He could be in the circle. I think he's got, he's you. I think that dog's you. Oh, 
You have a fight with Mrs. Olsen? <laughs> See, you stopped off the truck and got some coffee, too, huh? Yeah, but uh, I plan to drink mine. <laughs> hey, did you notice they even got a dame driving that truck now? Uh, yeah, I saw that. That's some of those dames moving in everywhere. Ugh. Wouldn't it be something if that new helper they're sending over today turns out to be one? Get out of here. <laughs> Can you imagine a broad building a house? First thing they'd want to put up would be the curtains. <laughs> Bill will be the garage. Have a place to send you to smoke. <laughs> yeah, just see you working with a chick. Oh, uh, excuse me, Rebecca. Uh, would you help me saw this two by four in half? Oh, not now. I have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got nothing to worry about on that score. Why, a day wouldn't even be able to, to carry a toolbox. <laughs> Easy, easy. 
And remember, pollution is an enemy of all mankind, so let's do our best to get rid of it. I'm so glad we had this time together Just to have a laugh or sing a song Seems we just get started And before you know it Comes the time we have to say so long Good night.